Hi everyone. I wanted to uh, demonstrate the circuit uh, running on uh, 240 volts and um, this video will probably be uh, one of the last videos uh, to demonstrate the circuit here for maybe some time as I'm going to be working on uh, developing it for different applications. So um, to get since uh, I'm in Canada and using the uh, grid here in Canada, usually we have uh, 120 volts, but we also have the capability of 240 volts. And the way we would do that is uh, I found a separate breaker uh, from this uh, power bar here. That's uh, one side of the uh, panel, which is uh, 120 volts, so I've got that coming right here and then I've connected this other uh, bar there at the back and that's my other side of the panel so another 120 volts there so by combining that uh, you have a total of 240 volts so right now the circuit is operating so this here is the entrance here to the series ca capacitor here and uh, these are all 5 microfarad uh, capacitors so we've got 5 10, 15, 20, 25 microfarad of capacitors. The idea here actually using all these small capacitors is uh, uh, you have less uh, internal resistance by uh, putting all of them in parallel like that, but uh, it is connected then in series uh, to the uh, uh, transformer. So um, that's a bonus to do that. Uh, right there and uh, here on the transformer the uh, series cap goes into one leg of the primary and out of the other leg of the uh, primary and we go into these uh, light bulbs here uh, these are all 10 amp uh, uh, sorry 10 watt uh, bulbs uh, they're not fully lit these are automotive 12 volt bulbs uh, you need to keep the circuit uh, at a very low resistance uh, load so we have uh, five volts across those uh, uh, five uh, bulbs there. And uh, so, like I said, this leg of the uh, transformer here, the primary goes into the bulbs and out of the bulbs, that white wire comes to uh, my shunt resistor on this side here, where I have my current probe and then my ground of my uh, scope is there and the other ground to the other scope is there and then the other probe channel one is uh, on this side here of the entrance where my caps going so that's measuring the voltage and our current uh, shunt there is a 0.1 ohm 5% and like I say that's channel two there and this is our ground so we have to be really careful with uh, using a scope uh, in this uh, condition here. So what I've done is I have, I, well I usually always use this, this is a one-to-one -one isolation transformer. So the grid comes in this transformer and then the scope is plugged there. So you know I have to isolate the oscilloscope from the grid that way. So um, let's have a look here at the oscilloscope and uh, as you can see, there's a very beautiful uh, symmetry happening there. So the uh, yellow uh, waveform here, that's our voltage here on the grid. And the uh, light blue here, that is the current probe. And I have the math function on here. And this top portion here at the zero line of the math, that is what is being taken to uh, charge that capacitor bank and then basically at this point here the capacitor bank uh, discharges and that discharge basically returns into the grid and completes the cycle here and the uh, voltage and current is uh, definitely 90 degrees out of phase and actually if you look very closely uh, it's even further than 90 degrees out of phase and uh, 
that's what's giving this uh, circuit a very interesting effect, I find. So on our channel 1, the yellow, we have uh, 250 volts RMS and our current uh, probe is uh, displaying uh, 328 milliamps uh, running through that uh, 0.1 ohm resistor and uh, there is our math uh, calculations and that is the upper portion of the uh, math so above the zero line so we have sorry about that we have uh, 82 uh, volt amps that there is calculated there and our bottom portion of the math that is what is being returned to the grid and we have uh, 84 uh, volt amps so uh, these uh, bulbs are all being uh, lit partially uh, so it is a load uh, and we seem to be able to return uh, as far as I'm concerned the uh, power to the grid uh, without really any uh, anything missing so uh, let's look at our math function here some people might want to know how the math set up so it's times uh, channel 1 times channel 2 and our position of our math is at our zero line there if you look at that little red guy there everybody's all together at the zero line the voltage current and uh, math and you can see that reflecting right there that's our position and our vertical scale we're at uh, 50 uh, volt amps the uh, temperature of the transformer this is a uh, it, uh, actually it's kind of hot <laughs> uh, I couldn't hold my hand on that so there's definitely a good amount of current uh, running uh, even that resistor there is uh, quite warm uh, and that very low resistance so the circuit's been working here for a little bit and uh, I just thought I would uh, share that with you so to help uh, some maybe who would like to uh, I'll hit the measures here go back to our measures uh, I'll post the uh, scope shot of this uh, on the uh, public forum and you can find a link to that public forum uh, at the bottom of this uh, video and uh, I think that's all there is uh, that I would like to share at this time and uh, those who would like to replicate all the information is there and uh, thanks for watching all the best to you in your uh, attempts to uh, replicate bye now